evening. Good evening. Hi, class. Hi. Hello. Okay. Okay, okay. I'm ready. Hi, Jasmine, Erwin, Doris, and Jocelyn. Here we go. Okay. Okay, great. So, welcome back. Today is Friday, last day of the week. We are about to finish with unit number two in this class. So on Monday, we are just going to have a review. So remember, you need to go to the platform and complete the exercises that we have there. Let me see. Avanzado dos, aquí vamos. So, before we start with this class, let's go to the platform. Or let me show you the platform. Remember, section number two, what do we have there? Midterm exam and also we have some activities. Unit number two and also midterm exam. So as I mentioned before, we are going to finish with this topic today, talking about ethical and ethical practices. This is like the last day that we are going to be covering that topic because on Monday we are going to do a review and after that we are going to move on to a different topic so we can have unit number right so let me ask you did you finish with uh, all these um, activities las tareas de la eh, sección número dos did you Jasmine did, did you finish yes I already did the midterm too everything the midterm too okay I do okay muy bien and Erwin did you finish with these activities? So, I can, I do it. But I can okay. do it, but I can, I can do it. No, I, because I'm yeah. asking you, uh, probably today, before we finish with uh, the class, I am going to give you some time so you can go to the platform and with the help of your classmate, you can review the information that we have there, the exercises, and help each other to complete those exercises, right? So we are going to finish today, that is Friday. You're going to be, you know, having this new topic on Monday. So I really need you to go and finish with these activities today, okay? So don't worry. That's why I am asking about this, okay? No se preocupe. It's because we really need to finish with those activities, okay? Thank you, teacher. Yeah, you're welcome. Let's see, ¿qué vamos a tener ahora? You know, I really need you to um, take a look at this one. What do we have here? As you may remember, we have been in the previous classes discussing about this one on ethical practices. We have been um, looking 
uh, for some definitions. We have been discussing about some examples, well-known examples, right? And as you may remember yesterday before we were about to finish the class, I was asking you if you could go review the last uh, reading that we were going to have. There we have some important information. So uh, that is going to be the second activity for this class, right? But take a look at this one. I have a case study. This is a real case, you know? Um, I really need you to help me out reading this information and to try to give me, you know, some so possible solutions and recommendations, you know, about Johnny, Johnny. Because um, probably this can happen at any, you know, workplace, previous workplaces that you may have had, you know, in my case, yes, I have experienced this before. So take a look at what we have here. As you may see, I have three questions at the end. Okay, so you can take a look at the, this paragraph, right? And the possible solutions and recommendations as well. If you see, this is a very short case. So before we move on, and have the main activity for today, this is what we are going to do, okay? Let's work in pairs. You are going to be reading this information, thinking about possible solutions and recommendations, and then we are going to start with this discussion, right? If we have time, we are going to bring the other case studies because I have four different cases studies for today's class. One is from Gucci, the other one is Coca-Cola, uh, the other one is from, let me see, Nikes. Tenemos cuatro. This one that we have, que no tiene nombre de la compañía, right? We are not going to mention, right? But the other ones, yes, we are going to, to do that, right? So as you may see, let me send this information so you can go and discuss with the help of your classmates, with the help of your classmates. Vamos a ver, empecemos con eso. Take a look at this information. Let me know about your opinion. Is this an unethical practice? What is your opinion about this? Before we go and work with the classmates, I'm going to be sending this, this information to WhatsApp. Do not forget, uh, it is really helpful if you present this information, right? To share uh, the screen, your screen, so your classmates can take a look at the information that we have there, and you can review this information in an easier way. Okay, so let me send you this information right now. Aquí vamos. Case study. This is a case study. We read about this, the problem, then we identify possible solutions, and that's it. Eso es lo que vamos a hacer. Let's work in pairs. Because I'm still missing like five students. So yeah, in pairs. Here we go. Is it clear what we are going to do in this moment, class? Yeah. Okay, so Fernando, what are we going to do as the first activity? What is the instruction, uh, the given instruction? I start, I start the, the meeting later, but I remember a case that we you were reading mm -hmm. and we had to discuss that case with a partner. That's it, that's with... all. Yeah, that's it. Okay. And there you have three questions, three questions okay. that you're going to Review at the end. Veamos. Pairs. No me salen las parejas. Let me see. David. Tiene dos dispositivos, David. Yeah, right? Yes, teacher. Okay, that's why. Okay. 
Okay, David and Jocelyn. Okay, there we go. I am going to have five groups. Jasmine. Vamos, chicas. Empecemos con eso, okay? Discussion time. Here we go. Few weeks, I have observed that one of my workmates has been using the company resource purposes, personal goals. Okay, Johnny has been spending most of the of his office time working on his school projects. He admitted to me that he was pursuing 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 a certain course that would make a, it easier for for him to achieve. His professional call. He has been using the company resource to share <clears throat> stationaries, playing papers, and printers to complete his coursework. Ahora, continue to. Okay. On top of that, of that, he has been downloading articles, ebooks, and videos from the office. I decided to talk to him about the misbehavior. But he indicated that his actions were not against the company's regulation. He was also keen to suggest that he was one of the company's most productive employees. According to him, it was to use the corporation resources in time to complete his school assignment and research project. Number one, what is the identifying issue? Number two, analysis of the issue. And number three, resolution and recommendations. Uh. But it identified the issue. I guess that the issue is a abuse of leadership. Mm. Suppose the okay, uh, the guy is a uh, using his company resources to his personal goal. Uh -huh. At the beginning, he mentioned that. So in that case, I guess that he's a leader or something like that from the company uh -huh. to do that. Uh, Even it's not okay. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. I don't know if some of or one of you can share the screen so you can have the reading and read together. I, I, I tried. Okay, go yes. ahead, Philip Zaris. Yeah. Vamos a ver. Can you see? Not really. I guess it is taking a while. But let's let's wait. I yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes. Make it a little bit bigger so we can read the information. Uh -huh. There we go. Okay, there we go. So mm -hmm. Try to review the information together so one of you can start reading and the other one can continue with the second paragraph. And at the end, try to discuss these three um, questions that we have there, okay? The first one is a question. The, the number two and number three just are like uh, the, the issues that we have there, okay? Go ahead, okay. please, guys. Okay.
Eh, Freddy. Comienza. Sí, lo va a leer usted. Dale, comienza. Ok, within the past few weeks, I have observed that one of my workmates has been using the company's resource to purchase his personal goals. Johnny has been spending most of his office time working on his school projects. Okay, so you can say in the auditoria. Yes. Uh -huh. Hi, guys. Hi, teacher. Did you finish reading? No, 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 no. I, I Not really. Right no, we have to say. Okay, don't worry. So, I don't know, Janari or Erwin, if one of you can share the screen so you can have the reading and read uh, together the information, it will be really helpful. Okay. Teacher, oh. I will, I will, teacher. Tell the, platform, the platform, I will do the homework on Monday, no problem. I want, no, as I was mentioning before, today, we are going to start today, okay? So if you don't finish in today's class, we are going to finish on Monday, don't worry. Okay. But let's see, from 9.30 up to 10, you're going to have that time so you can review the exercises and ask me in, if you have questions about the activities that we have there, okay? Okay, teacher. Muy bien, there we go. So keep Thanks. on working. So I will talk to chair. Sure, sure, sure. Did you see? Since he was one of the, he's one of the most productive employees. So maybe that's why he thinks it's okay to do it. <laughs> because uh, he feels that he's giving a lot to the company. So it's, it, it won't hurt anyone. Do use some some time to to do his his homework. That's what he says. But maybe that happens a lot when you think you are a good employee and you don't damage anything in the office or anything. You think that it won't be wrong if you do things like this. So maybe the issue is like the attitude of Johnny more than what he's really doing because uh, he feels the right to do this. Maybe sometimes he, he will feel the same about doing something worse. Like uh, the things we were discussing yesterday of of lying or, or... no 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 <laughs> what do you think yeah, maybe the nobody in the company knows about the situation because if a uh, supervisor or the manager knows about a case like that maybe he can you can have a warning because mm -hmm. it's not supposed to do private private things in your in your job. Mm -hmm. It's that you have to work in your schedule and do nothing nothing more than the job that you have to do. Mm -hmm. Okay, so in solution or recommendations, what would you suggest? that the co-worker told to, to his boss? Mm. Yes, yes, yes. I, I, working and you're wasting time of, of, that you have to like be doing like activities from work and you're wasting, well, for, your, for you it's not a waste, but it is a waste for the company because you're not using the resources that they have or they give you for work, you're using it for yourself. So in a way, it is uh, unethical behavior. So it's not one that's... But what is the identified issue? 
If you yeah. let me share the, the I, I open the page, if you let me share. So the identified one. issue in, in itself is that this Johnny person is using time and resources to do to have to accomplish personal goals rather than doing his job. Yes, but uh, uh, teacher, this not nothing to do with the the pace we shared yesterday. You shared yesterday. No, it, not, it has nothing to do with it. Okay, as you may remember, we have trying to identify in this case if this is an unethical practice or not because we have been talking about right this one, right? Yeah, and so um, still may remember we have some many like examples about unethical practices. I really need you to know about if this is like um, what type of unethical practice is this? Is this yes, I was uh -huh. I was reading the 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 article you shared Which yesterday, one? the link, uh -huh. and this there is a, a a title of this with withdrawal. Just ah, okay. you let me share okay. share mean? the screen. Okay. Okay, let me, Can you let me share the screen, sure. please, to see that. Uh, David va un paso adelante. Come on, David, eso es lo que quería llegar. Before we go and read that information, the other information that we have, yes. I really is, need is you. That one, withdrawal, <laughs> minor, moderate form of medical behavior in uh -huh. organization terms. And this is taking excessive personal time working on personal matters during normal work time, coming late to work, mm -hmm. uh, that signs and, and uh, I was reading this and I think it's something to do with this. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, yeah, it's within that. I mean, without, within the umbrella of unethical behavior within an organization, uh in the spectrum of levels is then the lower level because you're not really hurting anybody or in within itself is not something that you that makes um it's not something bad but it's not something good i mean it's, it's in that gray little area where it's not good but it's not bad or or more properly it's not Bad, but it's not good either. Uh, okay, I, 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 okay, we need to know something about the policies of the company because, because I think it would depend on each case. Because, for example, me that I'm still at school, I have permission from human resources when if I notified with time that hey, I need this, this, and this, I need this, this time, or I need the, uh, the space or the computer to do something, and it is allowed to me to do that and ask for permission. So it is using my work time for personal issues, but my company's policies is that since we're studying and it is something to improve ourselves in a professional environment, okay. it's allowed to do it, to do so, so long as we have permission. Exactly. So in this case, this is not an unethical practice, right? Because you're asking for permission in advance. Yeah. So, yeah. It like would that. really depend on like the background story of the case. Because you don't know if Johnny actually has permission to do anything of it. This, I mean, I think he doesn't because take a look at this one. This uh, he admitted to me. Me lo dijo, right? Yes. So yes. nobody yes. knows about what he's doing. So I guess he doesn't have. I mean, I mean, in the sense that, for right? example, we are <laughs> co-workers that need to say in the. Um, Eh, en la cadena de comando estamos en el mismo puesto, digamos. Okay. Pero el superior sí sabe, pero el compañero no. So, para el compañero puede que sea un ético, pero mi, si mi jefe, mi jefatura sabe, y la jefatura me dio permiso, no lo es. Ah, ok, muy bien. But, but, but I think, I think, even though, even Great though, discussion. Keep on discussing. even though if the, if the chief, but it's not the, the owner, Hello, hello. 
Hello, Hello, good evening. Hello. Excuse me, good evening. How are you, chicos? How is it? I always arrive. Okay, like... digan, it's Friday. Yeah, it's no, Friday. No, 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 it's no, it's not Friday. I'm so sorry for, for the delay. <laughs> no, but I'm really glad that you're here, okay? Eso es lo que importa. Vamos a ver. Let me explain to you the activity that we have, the introductory activity. It's a, a very nice activity. As you yeah. may see, we have a case study. ¿Saben qué es un case study? Any idea about this? Mm. En no. español, no. Really caso. <laughs> this is like a situation that I'm presenting to you. You need to read the information. And at the end, for example, as you may see, you are going to give a possible solution. After reading this case, you're going to give your opinion about it. If this is an unethical practice or not. What is the identified issue? If you consider that this is a, an issue, right? What is the yeah. analysis of the issue and possible solutions and recommendations, right? As you may see, it's a very short case. So you're just going to read together, Francisco and you, Telma, and then you're going to give a solution to this issue, right? Eso es lo okay. Que okay. And as you may remember, we have been discussing about unethical practices. So we have a lot of um, eh, examples. Traten de identificar o posicionar cuál es, qué categoría le darían a este issue, okay? ¿Qué tipo de unethical issue es? Si es que es para ustedes. If you consider that this is an unethical practice. Ok. Muy bien. Vamos a... Ok. We need, we need to find the, the case in the web. No. The so, web? no. you just need to have that information. That's it. Eso es todo. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Pero identifiquen. ¿Qué tipo de issue es ese que se está pasando? Denle un título. Nombre. Okay. Let me see. With if reference, want, uh -huh. with reference the the, uh, the ideas or, or, or concept that you share in last last class. You know, we are not reviewing that information, the one that I shared yesterday, because this is like an introductory introductory like uh, a scenario so we can have this as an example and after that you're going to present this one eso es lo que teníamos ayer right yeah yeah so you can have an idea aquí pueden darse una idea look será esta political divides no sé property o alguna cualquiera de estas categorías puede ser so if you want um, and go over and review this information as well it will be really helpful Okay, you know I get it. You are going to stay here. Quédense en esta sala porque ya no tengo otra sala, okay? Stay here. If one of your classmates joins, okay, no creo que lo haga porque ya son las 20, que son las 20 con 30. Okay. So yeah. you tell them about Almost. what we are doing, okay? Uno okay. de ustedes comparta la pantalla. This information, you can go to uh, WhatsApp. And there we have the information, okay? Okay. Okay, so vamos. Yes, yeah, I got it. There we go. We got it. Here we go. Well. Can you read by WhatsApp the information that that's very in the the teacher sharing us. If you, if you want, I, I, to, uh -huh. I can share the screen. Or oh, I don't know if Francisco, if you are, um, if you can do that. Vamos a ver. Déjeme ver si yo puedo compartir la pantalla. Okay, let me try. Let me see if I can. Thanks. Vamos a ver. So, oh yeah, here we go. Go ahead and review this information. Okay. Thanks. Okay, thank you. Teach. Okay, can you read uh, okay. the first paragraph, Francisco, please? Okay, I try. 
Okay. In the past few weeks, I have observed, observed that one of my worst mates has been using the company's resource. Mm. Mm -hmm. This is a point. Yeah. Because <laughs> the, the co workers have using the, 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 the resources of company. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. To propose his personal goals, Johnny has been spending most of his office time working on his school projects. Mm. <laughs> Big problem. Like our <laughs> homework. <laughs> mm, yes, but it's, it is not it, it, This is unethical. Really, to use. really, it's unethical. Yeah. yeah. Well, for me, I think yes, because um, I think because that the company uh, no one needs uh, that yeah. to to yeah because if you waste have the time different uh -huh, if you have different results in your company, obviously it's for use uh, in the for. Um, for for the production of the company not for my um, my benefits i think yeah, obviously, yes. you, you, obviously you, you can use your your computer for send an email or search some information i agree but if you use other things for example, I use a lot of time or spend a lot of time in in or using hora, papers, trabajo, no sé or, yeah. in in your schedule in your uh -huh. when uh, you work in time yeah uh, well I'm not sure. <laughs> I think it's, it's he, right your idea because uh, it's an ethical using the resource mm -hmm. of the company yeah. uh, during your working uh -huh. uh, but you the company have a a time for uh, for uh, for your lunch yeah during your lunch, yeah, you can, you, you can, you you can, can. work in your project and with with your research, mm -hmm. but not the research company. Yeah. Yeah. This. But in this case, the the worker mm -hmm. admit. Yeah. He had that, that to me that, that he was he using mm -hmm. using the third research company. Mm -hmm. Pushing a certain process that would make yeah. it is easier for him to achieve his professional goals. He has been using the company's resource such as um, stationary planes papers and printers to complete his um, yeah. course, course, work. Course, course work. work course work yeah yeah his course work mm -hmm. he was using he was he has been Ooh, for a for of for a long time rain. yeah, yeah. The resource, the company, uh, paper. <laughs> okay, because it's, uh, it was easy using the resource company in in um, by the worker. Thing mm -hmm. that is is uh, is so 
is so shifting using <laughs> using the resource mm -hmm. company <laughs> for on for it, him. In, in the second part of it, I am reading that the top of oh oh como por decirlo así, top el polvo, uh -huh. mm -hmm. top, top of that, he has he been has downloading been. articles. E an article uh, and video from the office. Mm -hmm. I decided decide to talk, to talk to, him to him about yeah, the, is the mm, misbehavior. Yes, it's, uh, it's a good alternative. Mm -hmm. But he indicates that his actions were not, were not um, against the companies. Regulation. He was also keep to suggest that he was one of the company most productive employees. According to him, it was to use the corporation resource and time to complete his school assignment and research project. Okay. What is the identification? Uh -huh. mm, analyzing not is we trouble no but not is knowledge hiding no well let me see what is what we get the concept property, defiance and sabotage. Mm. No. <laughs> Let me see. Show when public doesn't create personal kind. Political defiant, no. <laughs> Not as ostracism. Not as interpersonal, as defiant. Uh -huh. What is it? In this way, is. I don't know because the comp his actions were not against the company for regulation. It's like that he does not know knowledge about about if the company how like to código de conducta or no. Yeah, in in my opinion could be. In any point about the fraudulent behavior is violating or ignoring environmental regulation, but no, 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 no. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's, don't you worry if you are not sure about the issue or the name of the issue, right? So oh, okay. just try to give possible solutions and recommendations. Probably your classmates, they already have like an idea about which issue is this or what type of issue is this one, okay? So just move on. Solutions and recommendations. Quédense leyéndolo. Vamos a traer a la clase ya de regreso so we can listen, okay? But okay. you have been doing a great job. Creo que todos van a tener muy buenas respuestas. Excellent job, class. Let's bring Thank your you. classmates you. back. Okay, okay. I'm waiting for you guys so I can check the tendencies. 
Here we go. Okay, before we continue with this activity, let me go ahead and check the attendance list. Because I guess we have some classmates who didn't join this class today. Vamos a ver, who are the ones who are missing? Today is Friday, Friday D, Friday, finally, Friday, right? Vamos Thank a ver. Yeah, right? Como dijo David el viernes pasado, and Zoom knows, let's see, and everybody knows as well. Okay, Andres Giovanni. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present. There we go. Okay, what's happening? Just give me a second. Okay. What's going on? Not okay. Wait, let me try it again. Okay, let's see. Andres, he's there. He's not letting me. No me deje escribir, chicos. ¿Qué pasa? ¿Para qué dijimos que es viernes? Y la computer lo sabe. Right? En Excel knows about it, right? I can't know. What's going on? IT support, Fernando. Technical support, please. What is happening? He's not letting me type anything on it. ¿Qué pasa? ¿Por qué no, no me deje escribir? ¿En, ¿En dónde? ¿En Excel? ¿Excel? Ah, no sé si se le venció la licencia. I don't know, no. Arriba, arriba, hasta, hasta arriba dice si ha expirado. Y se pone como, se le, se le pone como sombreado los botones porque no está, no está permitido. Bueno, okay. No. ok, let me refresh the page. Tal vez eso sea, I'm going to close it then, open mm. it back again. Because this is the first time. Ahí está, ahí está. Es Office 365. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Yo pensé que era el de escritorio. Por ahí estamos, ¿verdad? ¿eh? Hoy sí, creo sí. que sí. David Samuel. Ah, no, es este de Google. De Google, <ríe> right? Un spreadsheet. Present teacher. Muy bien. Estoy perdida con esto. Ahí estamos, there we go. Diego Alejandro, caballero López. ¿Qué es Hapsen? Dora Elizabeth Flores Méndez. Present. Erwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Present. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Francisco Madeo Villacorta Chávez. Present. Ok. Freddy Vladimir Cortés López. I'm here. Ok. Génesis de Carmen Hernández Brizuela. Harvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Yasmín Marisol Escobar Flores. Present. Kenia Esmeralda Galvez Ruiz. Lourdes Monserrat Hernández Velázquez. Present. Madeline Yamilet Molina González. Telma Cleotilde Peña Martínez. Present. 
William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Jessica Yanari Cortés Díaz. Here. And Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Okay, there we go. Okay, class, let me know about your opinion about this case study. Is this an ethical, unethical practice? Let me listen to you. Let me have we five volunteers, five volunteers. So please raise your virtual hand. Tenemos ahí la ayuda del technology, right? Raise your hand. I have to. Yeah. I put one. class, but, but this is a raise hand. Class, okay, class. I can that, that's five, five, five volunteers. Lourdes, muy bien. David. Just leave it like that. Dejen así, así. Francisco, he's the third one. David, Lourdes, Francisco. There we go. I'm still missing two. Just two, two more. Remember, we really need to participate, okay? If not, David, tell me or give me a number from, from one to 10. Eight. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Freddy's, muy bien, Freddy's. Tell me a number from one to ten. ¿Quién más va a participar after Fred? Yeah, she's someone else. Huh? Ah? She's someone else. Okay. Don't you worry. I will. Yeah, Janari, would you like to participate? Hey, what did you? Would you like to participate in this activity? Yeah. I yeah, will try. There you go. That's the attitude. Great. Erwin, would you like to participate? Okay, teacher. For me, okay. There we go. For you, it's okay. Here we go. Five volunteers. The first one. Let's start by reading. David, you're the first one. Okay. Reading Case study. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We, we did the past few weeks. I have observed that one of my co work mates has been using the company's resource to pursue his personal goals. Johnny has been spending most of his office time working on his school projects. He admitted that to me that he was pursuing a certain course that would make it easier for him to achieve his professional goals. He has been using the company's resource, such as stationaries, print papers, and printers to complete his course work. There we go, Lord. Keep on working. Thank you, Dad. He's okay. The, the second paragraph. Yeah, please. On top of that, he has been downloading articles, ebooks, and videos from the office. I decided to talk to him about the, the behavior, uh, but he indicated that his actions were not against the company's regulations. Mm -hmm. He was also keen to suggest that he was one of the company's most productive employees. According to him, it was to use the corporation resources and time to complete his school assignments and research projects. And research projects, okay. There we have the information. This is what you were reviewing with your classes, right? So now let me ask you, Janari, let me know about uh, number one. What is the identified issue? Is there an issue in this? case study or not? Do we have one ethical practice? Yeah, because he, uh, Johnny used a resource of the companies and I think it's not, it's unethical because uh, all resource for the, for the company, for, for, the, for the job is for that, not for personal uh, works, right? Okay. I think it's, is bad in this place. It is the issue. Okay. Let me see. Erwin, is that the only issue that we have there in this case? For me, teacher, uh, John, Johnny 
is a with bad behavior. Like to say the let me see the name is a uh, using the corporate resources. Leave me a moment, please, teacher. Let me Not moment. to worry. Okay. Take your time. He is a, he is a, with bad behavior, like misbehavior. Yeah. And he is an unethical uh, worker in the workplace because he used the resource of the company for the personal goals. Okay. Okay, teacher. So there we go. Anyone else? Who was the other one? The other volunteer. Okay, Francisco. Is that the only issue that we have there? That he's using the resources to accomplish or to complete his coursework? Um, I think both option mm -hmm. in this case, because, um, well, I think that uh, for for me as well, for example, use the computer obviously in your break times. For example, in the long long times, uh, you can well. I think you can use the the computer, but if you use the other uh, resource of the company, mm, I think that is no good. Okay. Because because the owners or your boss, uh, they have the different results for use for the objects or, or production of the company. I don't know, I okay. think. Take a look at this class. But he indicated that his actions were not against the company's regulations. ¿Qué piensan de ese comentario? Is this an attitude? Attitudinal? It could be, it couldn't be. Okay. Maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe not, because if not, uh, sorry, go ahead. No, 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 only say 50-50. 50-50, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or maybe, the company don't say nothing in, in his regulation because it's uh, uh, obviously that you don't use your the resource of the company, but if the company don't say nothing, there is nothing wrong. And, and uh, it, I don't know if there are a, another re regulation like, uh, I don't know, legal regulations, something like that. But it, it, it is a big company there will be, there will be something right about that. So maybe it's only the 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 opinion of the of the Johnny. <laughs> so do we really need to have something like uh, in a paper? So we are not gonna do like a similar activity, right? So I can use the company's resources for my, in this case, for my. Uh, I don't know, my activities, right? Or my, I don't know, if I need to print something. Yeah, because because Johnny in some sites, they don't in articles of ebook and videos. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that use the, the internet in forma abusiva, no sé cómo decir. Okay. What do you say? Uh, I think that it is, mm -hmm. uh -huh, it is, it is not good because, for example, if, if a, it's, it's a bank, you are to press the the resource in the internet okay. size of, of bank. Uh -huh. In some uh, in some case, maybe when you download some videos, you can download the uh, what's the name? Virus que pueden atacar el sistema. Mm -hmm. Viruses. Mm -hmm. So, in my opinion, I don't know if you are in agreement with this, but in my opinion, we have two type of issues here. No solo hay un issue. This is the first one, right? His attitude. Because he's like, 
Mm, not really trying to admit that he's doing, doing you know, wrong. an unethical practice, right? Doing wrong. On top of that, he is using the company's resources as well. So, and the company's time. Mm -hmm. Ah, as well. Yes. Right? Yes, I, I think it could be another issue that is the the guy that knows the situations. Okay. That is not concerned to Yoni, but there is something more that know about the situation. And maybe he needs to let let know to the company, maybe. I don't know. So is it important to inform his manager, to inform his I boss? Think. Would you, in your case class, would you report this matter? Would you let his <laughs> boss know about this issue? I think no, teacher, but, <laughs> but we need to. <laughs> Do we need to? Do we really need to? Maybe because if the company gets in trouble, if the problem is big, because uh, if you have a, 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 comp a big company like a, a multinational and he have uh, 20,000 employees and every employee take 10 sheets of paper, mm -hmm. there is a, a, a big thing. If you add all of the, all of the little, little issues, and uh, in some case, in the in some uh, place of the public places, the people easily take uh, five, ten, fifteen pages of paper, mm -hmm. and uh, at the end is something about ten or twenty blocks or resma de papel. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> I think. And, it is a, a little issue can can give to a big loss for the exactly, company. Exactly, for the company. Okay, there we yes. go. So Doris, in your opinion, would you report this issue to his boss or not? Um, yes, I report. Why? Because uh, the resource in the company have a cost. It's a high cost. Uh, uh, paper, okay. printer. Yes. But and, you know, okay, the they have a cost, right? But you know, we are not the one who are paying for it. And Johnny is our friend. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. If if he, my friend, I try to to talk him. Okay. Before. 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 Uh -huh. before. So he would stop doing that, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can get in trouble <laughs> if someone else finds out that you knew and didn't say anything. Uh, but but is uh, I have a, a, a there are a two issues in in this case mm -hmm. uh, majority of a company or my loyalty and my um, my to my friend to my, my friend okay. yes yes I I, I I have experience um, years ago many years ago okay. uh, my co-worker used a computer uh, for use as uh, watch pornography and I, and I don't say nothing no I don't I don't say nothing you uh, knew about the situation okay. but my boss discovered uh, uh, him uh, mm. he uh, he, 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 she tell me, why, why you Doris, don't tell me nothing, why? <laughs> it's so difficult for me, <laughs> but uh, so, uh, 
Chisme. You, you work uh, the computer, the, the computer mm -hmm. is close, close in, 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 in she said me, Dolly, you, 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 did you, you, do you don't know that, that? Yeah. no, <laughs> but no, it is, it's, you close to him, it, oh. why? Don't, don't tell me nothing, it's so difficult. I mm -hmm. know, right, yeah. so she was asking you if you, Let's see. If, if you, if you told, you know, yeah. somebody yes. from the place. Yes. So interesting. Yes. Andres Giovanni, tell me about your opinion. Would you let your boss know about this situation? Mm. Depending on <laughs> what co-worker is, is if okay. it's my friend now. <laughs> Pero si me cae mal, dicen, uh, yeah, of course, teacher. <laughs> Bravo, baby. So, ¿qué piensan, chicos? Okay. Yo sé, I know sometimes if we really um, are close friends. In this case, it's Johnny. He were uh, my close friend, you know, not only my co-worker. I would think it twice, you know. As Doris, she mentioned, you know, I really need to let him know about this situation and ask him, you know what, you should stop doing that, okay, to advise him. But at the same time, I don't really know if I will tell my boss about this situation as well. It's very hard sometimes, right? Si se fijan, no solo es de ética, it's also about moral or values. También tiene que ver con la moral, los valores. So, ¿qué pesa más, chicos? En este cascado. ¿La moral o la ética? ¿Ética es this teacher o no? ¿Ética es something moral? ¿Es uh, very related? ¿Ética in, in moral? Mm -hmm. But uh, I, I was thinking it was uh, something like. Uh, 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 a personal values, yes, in that uh, kind of thing, and uh, the uh, company ethics. Okay. And uh, how do you see yourself in the context of all the, that things? And yes, you are right. Yes, it's something like moral principles and yes. uh, ethics. Yes, yes. So, any other comments about this one? Jasmine, what would you do in this situation? What are the uh, possible solutions and recommendations? This, yeah. In this particular case, um, I think uh, it's a little incomplete, the information, because the coworker may not know um, or just find out that Johnny is doing this. But um, some companies do give permission to their employees if they're studying to somewhat use resources so long as your boss and human resources or the, the designated department is aware of it beforehand. Mm -hmm. It means that the rest of your company or co-workers are, are aware of it. So that's the thing. On um, the other hand, part of the issue is how, um, let's say, unconcerned or nonchalant Johnny is regarding the problem in itself. So one solution could be like sit together all the, the people um, needed because if A, Johnny doesn't have permission, the other person doesn't say anything could get in trouble too because you are helping um, somebody else's bad behavior. And um, so that's one thing. And yes, it may, I mean, it's not really harming anybody in this case. It's not doing like, or like in the, like in this case that the, her friend was watching something he shouldn't, but he's doing something that's trying to improve himself that in the long term can improve the company too. So 
the company can either take a positive approach and says, okay, you need time to study, let's do it in a schedule from time out to from this hour to this hour. You can use it to for your personal things for school. And then you do your work so long as you accomplish whatever is, is it that you need to do throughout the day. The neutral part would be like, okay, just stop doing this and we leave it as is. And the negative one will be, okay, stop doing this and we're going to take personal action because of it. Okay. One thing. So it would really depend on the, as we were discussing with David, um, the personal policies and the particular policies of, it, of the company Johnny is in or in any, in any specific case. Interesting opinion. Okay. So what type of phonetical practice is this class? Let me show you this information. The same information as yesterday. ¿Qué será esto? Take uh, a look at David, the- David, we identified it as withdrawal. Yes, Which one? Withdrawal. It's not bullying, it's, I think abusive it's like leadership, alcohol and drug use. I think it's from the like the third first one. the third one, right? I think that's the third this one. This yeah. one, okay. Take a look at the examples that we have here. Which example is the one that we are discussing in this moment? Pretending, taking. How about this one? Before. Yes, that uh -huh. one taking. Ah, just that one. How about this one? <laughs> yes, yes, working right. on personal matters during normal work time. Probably he was not playing online, right? But he was but, for some other But it, right? it is the same because he is downloading videos. And the problem with the downloading videos is that the all of the all of the okay. connection, I don't know how to say ancho de banda mm -hmm. is a, a, Decrease. Ah, okay. Muy bien. You are do, downloading videos and, and affect all of the... It affects, yes, right. Yes. The other devices that they are being... Yes, on. yes, yes. So, but take a look at this one. Y me importa eso. Me llama atención. It holds my attention, you know? Being aware of our colleagues on ethical yes, behavior yes. and failing to... Mira, aquí está. So, it's, yes, we are being part of this unethical practice as well. Yes. If you don't go and talk to your colleague, to your co-worker, of course, you are being part of this unethical practice as well. So, ahí está la respuesta. But do you really want to know about, eh, eh, ¿cómo les digo? This is a real, a real issue. Quieren saber qué pasó al final. What, what? What happened at the end? Take a look at this one. Aquí está. Solutions yes. and recommendations. Tengamos a Telma. Telma, help me out reading this, the first paragraph. And Fernando con el segundo. Yes. Telma with the first one and Fernando with the second one. About the solutions and yes, recommendations. Yes, solutions and yeah. recommendations. Okay, Go. okay. After realizing that my colleague was engaging in unethical behavior, I decided to encourage him to stop it. However, Jimmy was keen to acknowledge that whatever he was doing was right since he was a hardworking employee. He did not see anything wrong with his actions. I went further to inform the department's manager to receive his views. I believed that it was appropriate to report the matter because it was an Erica. Also, Jim was unhappy with the move. I decided to do what was right in an attempt to support the company's business goal and agenda. Okay. Here it says Jimmy and the other one, the CI Johnny, but yeah, it's the same person. Fernando. Uh, the manager warned Jimmy against the mixed behavior and every potential consequence. He pointed out to him that 
the malpractice could result in job termination and disciplinary actions. Wow. The leader went ahead to inform every employee about the issue and why similar malpractice should be avoided. Yeah. The best recommendation is that organizational leaders should implement powerful strategies to, to monitor their employees and encourage them to focus on an existing cause of conduct. The strategy can minimize, minimize, minimize unethical behaviors and make every company successful. Okay, there we go. So are you in agreement with these solutions and recommendations? Is this a happy ending or not? I guess not for Johnny, right? Or Jim. ¿Qué piensas? It is a yes, great solution. At the, yeah. at the end, at the end, we was talking with Jasmine about three possible scenarios. The first one that what a positive solution that uh, only talk to to Johnny or Jim. The second was a, a neutral solution, do nothing. And the last one is a negative solution that that one to, to make uh, disciplinary actions. So and, uh, is this a negative consequence? Is this a negative for uh, Johnny because okay. yes, uh, uh, in the case of, of him, mm -hmm. because he thinks that he, he has the right to do the thing that he's doing. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the, the, like what you say, that this is a, a second problem. And, uh, and the other thing is that you need to to put an, a, a, how is the name? The, uh, antecedente. Mm -hmm. Yes. But uh, all, all the people know that they need to do ethical practice. Okay. So class, what is your opinion about the manager, the actions that he took? The manager, las, las acciones que tomó, right? Are you in agreement with his decisions? Are these good strategies to fix this issue or not? Look, first one is this one. He went ahead and talked to Johnny about his uh, misbehavior, right? And the potential consequence. He let him know about the malpractice and that this could result in job termination and disciplinary actions, right? As a second action, he went ahead to inform every employee about the issue and why similar malpractices should be avoided, right? So, are these the best strategies to try to solve this or to avoid this type of issues in the workplace or not? I, I think yes, because this was the first time mm -hmm. it needs an, an, uh, um, a warning. The first time is warning. It's like a warning, yes, a warning. Yes, right? mm. yes, but the a second time, yes. there will be an action. Okay, there we go. So yeah, I guess this is like the correct procedure. Very good job, class. You did it great. So let's move on. Second activity. What do we have? I guess we are going to be working in different groups because we have like five missing students in this class. So as we were working in pairs, we are going to do the second activity in the same way, pairs. But let me assign you with different pairs. Vamos a ver se van a ir con diferentes compañeros. Let me move you. In we are going to review the information from yesterday's class, the one that we didn't finish, right? The link that I sent. I can send that information again if you want me to. 
So let me show you before we go and move to the breakup rooms. These are the topics that we are going to be reviewing. Group number one, remember you're going to have the first and second topic from the link, the web page that I'm going to be sending right now. Group number two, here you have the two topics that you're gonna be discussing about and so on. Group number three, four, five, and six. There you have the topics. Go read the examples that we have there. And after that, I need you to get ready to make your presentation. If you want to include this information in a PowerPoint slide, that's okay, that, that will be really helpful. So your classmates can take a look at the information and at the end of the presentations, we are gonna be listening to your classmates. Probably they have some extra examples and we can conclude with this topic today. Is it clear what we are going to do right now? Yes, teacher. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so let's go class. Yes, okay. Hello, guys. Hello. Sorry, Hello. I need to just a the... little moment because the microphone, I have problem with the microphone. But oh, really, really? Yes, yes. but it's okay. okay. This, this so, is working right now. It's working. So, Thelma and Jessica, I don't know if, you, if you're having issues to join this room. Room number four. Room number four? Uh-huh. Because you're gonna be working together in room number room number four. Jessica, Janari, and Thelma. Did you get the invitation to join this room or not? Yeah, but uh, uh -huh. I was alone. <laughs> uh -huh, and Janari as well, right? And Andres, todavía está solito. Francisco, were you working yeah. with Andres? No. Mm, yes. Okay, so let me send you with him. Room number two, right? 
Yes, it's correct. Okay, go please, go ahead. Okay, and tell my Janari. I don't know. No, let the hair around. No, no, it's not letting you. With the group number three with, with David. Let's go. With, with, okay, okay. Just give me. Yeah, but. But today mm -hmm. I have a room. Number four. No, yes. As I mentioned Number before, four. yes, you know, yesterday um, I was expecting to have the same classmates today in this class, yes. same students, right? But I'm still missing five students in today's class. So uh, that's okay. why and I ask I... you, uh -huh, go and work with different uh, classmates today. So don't you worry. Vamos a la sala cuatro. ¿Qué pasó? Andrés se fue, vamos a ver. Francisco. What Hi, happened? What is uh, Andrés? No, Andrés is not here. He's not, okay. not here. So let me send you to a different group. Don't worry. Okay, okay. Um, other question, teacher? Yeah, please. Could you please share again the link but check the information that you need to review because when I enter it in the website, uh -huh. it's showing other, other page. Okay, let uh, me see. Let, let no, me don't me. tell me that. <laughs> Ahorita, let me review. Okay, any the classmate space. in a specific? Mm. Quiero ver, esa es, that's the yeah. one, that's the one, esa es. Esa es. Yeah, so you need to scroll down. Scroll, scroll, scroll down. Pero la, la muestra. Allí en específico, Francisco, ah. that we would like to work with? Not really. No, no. Okay, muy bien. So go ahead and work with. Quiero ver room number five. Tengo a David and Doris. Okay, David and Doris. Okay. Go, please. Room number Interesting. Uh, teacher, I don't know uh, mm -hmm. if Jana is there. No, she's still here. So don't worry. Let me send you to a different group, Telma. Go okay, and you. join room number three with Jasmine and Lourdes, okay? Let me send you there. Yeah. Vamos a ver. Room number three. Aquí vamos. Go, please. Oh, I phrase. Okay, let me know something. 
um, the things you learn. Yo les ofrezco una Coca Cola y se va. No sé Grandota. Si, no sé si, si los del personal del tren de aseo alguna vez les han dejado una, una tarjeta a ustedes. Navidad, Semana Santa, vacaciones de agosto. Sí. ¿Sí? Uh -huh. A nosotros también. Where do you live, Marisol? Enfrente del Bloom, ahí por la Nacional. Uh -huh. En Tonks, ¿verdad? Near to Autopista Norte, ¿no? Yes, so you, you get some of this. I, <laughs> oh my God. I, I saw a way to ask for money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I, I live in, in near to Inframen Institute. Is this same case? <laughs> En esa de fraudulent behavior donde dice sharing false information with regulators sería como el de así como cuando llega lo de el Ministerio de Economía a ver a ver los precios de la canasta básica en los super y les dicen que no, que no les ha subido y todo. Sí, es lo mismo prácticamente. También cuando eh, vos tenés un lote normalmente, bueno, no, un tipo de, en los supermercados hay lotes de productos. Uh -huh. Vos lo compraste a un precio, pero aprovechaste de que ha habido una variante de mercado, tus lotes están vigentes y estás viendo que la competencia y todo están subiendo un poco los precios. Entonces, pues también lo haces, aunque lo compraste a un precio menor. A veces, al final, es legal, pero, o sea, es como que te estás aprovechando un poco también de la situación. Sí. <ríe> Además, hay, hay gente que trabaja para pensar ese tipo de estrategias y, y por eso les pagan en, los, sí. en todos esos negocios. O oh, cuando ves la típica, el típico anuncio en la tele. ¿Cuál? Donde vos ves todo, puchi, cuando ves todo excelente. Así tipo. Ok. We have the first part of the presentation. The ostracisms. In this, uh, the. The society is clue. Uh, yes. Uh, but the, the, the focus on the, this is the definition here that is employees targeted. Focus on the yeah. person that is targeted is- uh, In a specific, in a, in a, in a specific person for yes, yes, X for, reason. Yes, uh, Doris was telling me that in a previous job, she have a, a, a salary and a position that uh, every other wants. Mm -hmm. And uh, nobody give this information, nobody uh, help or nobody collaborate. And it was difficult, a difficult time because of, of that reason. Yeah. Uh, there are something that the other people don't don't like or like about what you have and they don't have. Yeah. And, and for that reason, they are uh, uh, punished you, punished mm -hmm. you for what reason. Yeah. And, what, and other kind of person is like to, um, como dice el pan salvadoreño, es cae mal. What, what? Como? Other kind of person in in this in, in this case are, como el buen salvadoreño que dice, 
No, es que ese tiene que ser mal. Ah, ok, ok, uh -huh. yes. Because the person like to, to say some comment about the different person that are not true. It, it is not true. When, yes, the person, yes. when, when the person says lies about the other person, el chambroso, by yeah, but in, in this case, it's, it's a, a different thing. It's, yeah, I, uh, I know. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, okay, all, all of the people uh, reject mm -hmm. and uh, made you feel uncomfortable and made you feel excluded. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, even though, <laughs> even though you don't know why, mm -hmm. or maybe you know how, why, like in the what Doris is uh, telling us. Yeah. But, yeah. but all of, of the people uh, uh, I don't know. I I can I I I, I see something like that, but I I never feel in myself. Mm. Okay. The other one is interpersonal yeah. debate. This is something like the first one, but this is um, a cyber form. Cyber, cyber. How was the pronunciation of that? Cyber. Severe. What, what, what? Severe. Cyber, severe. Severo, I, I have, severo, that one? Yes, yes, I, I know, I know, severo, but the pronunciation, I have some problem with the, with the V, the V, V. Because we don't use the V, that V in, in Spanish. We use the same sound of V. Uh -huh. Say it again, teacher, please. Severe, severe. Severe, severe. Uh -huh. Yes, yes. Severe. Uh -huh. Yes. Teacher, you, you have used the, the it's a speak application, no? Uh, no, cake. <laughs> There's another one that it's called cake. I, 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 I hear cake, but uh, uh -huh. this like cake. Uh -huh. is... So you have a cake. Uh -huh. yeah. Cake, yes, yes, I, I, I saw cakes. <laughs> but the, this is a speak is very, very demanding. Yes. If you is. don't say in the right way, they don't give... The, it is is equal. So severe. Oh. Severe. Is severidad different? Severe. It's severity. a little bit hard to, to pronounce, right? Severity is a severidad. Severity. Severe is severo. Severidad. Severity. Severity. Something like that. Um, okay. um, severa, severo. Severity. Severity. Severity, severity, yes. Uh -huh. severity. severity, yes, Bien. yes. <laughs> okay. For unethical behavior and other employees started. But we, didn't we don't have a, a definition. We have, uh, what is? It's a severe, severe for unethical behavior and is focused on other employees. Yes. But, I don't know what is the definition. I understand what is the, <laughs> the meaning, but I, okay, but I was looking for the definition and I don't find it. Let me check what is the meaning. The past 10 years, for employee being such as stiff withholding effort and maltreatment of co work is a pressing issue for most organizations. Is uh, the being workplace behavior becoming a cause? 31% that this, in, this information is important. Everybody boosts by the immediate supervisor. Good says. Concept, aquí está, concept. According to Wikipedia, workplace the bien in group 
psychology may be described as deliberate, intentional desire to cause. This is one by one. Harm to our organization, our workplace. Is interesting. I find this definition. Okay, I share in the see. in the chat. Interpersonal device. Miss, interpersonal uh -huh. device can occur when a misconduct targets of specialists. <clears throat> Gossiping about co workers and assigning blame to them. Mm, yes, yes. Ajá. Esto era lo que, ajá, lo, a, a lo que me refería de que ajá. cuando una persona empieza a hacer chambre, por decirlo así, de, de los demás compañeros, se auto ajá, pero, excluye. Pero, ajá, no. lo excluyen, pero with a reason, the, there are reasons. Uh -huh, yeah. Uh -huh, but but when you exclude someone with that reason, this is this is uh, mm -hmm. uh, personal beings, but this not is personal beings. This is workplace beings. When uh, okay. Interesting, and the name of key is interpersonal beings. And I don't put, I put what? Workplace, yeah. that is the problem. It is inter, no, this is what? Interpersonal beings, meaning, yeah, que no me quiere dar definición, meaning. Workplace, you yeah, I want interpersonal. A conceptual mode of interpersonal. What is what is what is interper? Oh, this is good from the victim's perspective. but we don't have a definition. Okay, vamos a tal Arriba vez. creo que decía, ¿qué es más abajito? Uh -huh. what, is, what, is, what is interpersonal device? Ajá, ese. Eso es lo que yo encontré. Sí, pero no, es, no lo define. En workplace de bien, sí, no, es otro, otra cosa. Sí, sí. Bueno. bueno, si él no lo define, inventemos nosotros la, la, <risa> la cosa es con darle un significado. Yes. Ok, entonces solo busquemos una una imagen interpersonal de bienes aquí está ¿eh? this is that way one but what happened más abajo de esta la imagen que, que busca Behavior and uh, there are so problems. And the VM behavior, resistant behavior, pessimistic behavior, uh, this one. Behavior that bring harmful effect to the organizations. But this one, but. Uh, no tenemos, pero pongámoselo a la gente, va. 
behavior that bring harmful effect to the people or to the co-workers or to the partners. Okay, and we have this one. Mm, duplicamos esta. And yes, that was, was, uh, uh, what was the name? Interpersonal debate. Okay. Yes. No. What happened? Uh, Control Z. Uh, yes. También. And this one. Inter, mejor le escribo. Interpersonal. The beings the bien. and. And what was the definition? This is behavior that bring harmful effect. This one, behavior that brings harmful effects. Yeah. Effects. Yes. Only that. Okay. And we need an image. Interpersonal beings. No. Postasismo. Pongamos en español. Esto está genial. <risa> uh. The first. Wow. Ok. En. This one. Okay, time to come back because we are about to finish with this class. Okay, let me ask you, did you have time to finish with the slides and organize the presentation that you're gonna be uh, presenting on Monday? So, so teacher. Yeah, right, because I know, even though we only have like two topics, they may look short, you know, but yeah, we have a lot of, information to discuss right yes we do we actually do okay so as you may see yeah this was the perfect time so you could review the information that 
I was providing to you. You could get ready with the slides if you were, you know, preparing or organizing that information. So on Monday, whenever we come back, you know, yes, we will need to have this activity as the second one, because as I mentioned before, and I was telling Erwin that we were supposed to have some extra time today from 9.30 up to 10 p.m. so we could go to the platform, review the, the exercises that we are still missing, but don't you worry. Let's have that activity as well on Monday. We're gonna have that one as the first one, review the activities that we are still missing in the platform, the midterm exam probably, and, and after that, we are gonna be presenting this information so we can conclude with ethics, you know, in unit number two. Okay, preguntas, chicos, questions about this activity. Okay, we, we write the examples and we are uh -huh. looking for, for some definition mm -hmm. and, and uh, I think this is the main thing. We say what is and that example and, and what the, the effects and something like that. That is what you are expecting for us. Yes, or I am wrong? No, that's right. Yeah, I was okay. listening you know, to your discussion, the conversation. You were even looking for a, some extra definitions, right? So yes. you can come on Monday and present that information. So uh, yes. we can have like a clear idea and we can listen to your classmates, right? Because I know it's very hard if we go and review, you know, the, the examples that we have there because that's a lot of information. But this yes. is an easier way so you can, you know, have an idea in an easier way. You can listen to your classmates, you can practice your English as well. And this is uh, the result of this activity. Okay, so just let me check the attendance list. We are still okay, meeting three you. minutes. Vamos a ver. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. <clears throat> okay. David Samuel Daltames Monterroso. Present teacher. Diego Alejandro Caballero López. Dora Elizabeth Flores Méndez. Present. Okay. Erwin Lagos Andrade. Present. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Francisco Amadeo Villacorta Chávez. Present teacher. Reyes Vladimir Cortés López. I'm here. Génesis de Carmen Hernández Brizuela. Harbin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Yasmin Marisol Escobar Flores. Present. Okay. Kenia Esmeralda Galvez Fris. Lourdes Montserrat Hernández Velázquez. Present. Madeline Yamilet Molina González. Selma Cleotilde Peña Martínez. Present. Okay, Selma, could you please stay today? You know, okay, no problem. Day. Okay, William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Jessica Janari Cortez Diaz. And Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Remember, I really need you to say present and to have your cameras on whenever we are checking the attendance list. Okay, so let's stop the class here. I really hope you to have a great um, weekend, okay? Let's see you in the class. Bye-bye. Thank bye. you, teacher. Have a great night. Good bye night. Bye. Night to you. Thank you. Good night, everybody. Bye to you. Bye-bye.
Okay. Hello, hello, Telma. ¿Cómo estamos, Telma? Hello. Um, gracias a Dios terminó la semana. ¿Verdad? Yeah. Es una semana muy pesada. <laughs> sí. Very yeah. hard week. Sí, en, en mi caso, igual por la gripe, no sé en serio por qué me empezó gripe. De repente. Empezó Pero le doy, le doy un tip. Ya, le doy un tip. Uh -huh. Para la tos, un, unos granitos de sal y rapidito se le quita la tos. O sea, sí, en una emergencia. Es como... Eh, por ejemplo, ahorita he estado súper bien en toda la clase y ahorita que yo empecé a chequear la asistencia, empecé a toser y yo no, ¿por qué? O sea, el agua no me quita la tos. E incluso, mire Telma, aquí tengo dulce, nada, nada, no funciona. Ay, Dios mío. Sí, es bien difícil así porque no es el único grupo que tengo. Entonces sí me ha tocado estar forzando bastante la voz. Pero voy a hacer eso entonces. La sal nunca, nunca la había escuchado. Sí, pero... granitos de sal en el momento. En el humedece, momento. humedece el dedo un poquito de sal y rapidito. Ok, perfecto. Lo voy a sí. hacer para mejorar también y que el lunes estar listo otra vez. Sí. Y en Telma. Ok, estamos en Advanced Number 2. Avanzado número 2. Telma, ¿cuántos cursos ha cursado con inglés corporativo? Todos los niveles. ¿O no? Básicamente, uh, intermediate. Ah, ok. From intermediate. Yeah, maybe yeah. Intermediate. Uh, four. Yeah. Ah, ok. Cuatro. So, yeah. You already know how it works, yeah. right? Sí, porque tengo varios estudiantes que son nuevos y que sí no sabían cómo funcionaba la metodología. Pero sí, muy bien, Telma. Algo que podamos reforzar. Tal vez alguna skill, listening, speaking. I don't know. Lo más difícil yes. para Telma. ¿Qué podamos hacer? Yes. En mi my, my caso es yeah. pronunciación. Ok. And I have the idea about the concept, but I... And some moment I, I can explain okay. what is it, but uh, uh, there are a, a point about the, the how to, how to, how do you say any, any word, mm -hmm. for example, uh, I don't know how, uh, how to say, uh, Round, round, what is rational, rational side, or uh, or how on how to pronounce? Yeah, see, but yeah, okay, but it's, okay. uh, but word is specific, but uh, like uh, what do you say? Palabras compuestas. Compound. Compound words. Palabras compound. Compound, compound yes. Yeah. Ah, okay. I, I, I get your point. So, for example, si nos vamos a leer like a new article, new information, I know we are going to find some new words or words or vocabulary that we probably know but we don't remember or we are not sure about uh, the correct pronunciation, right? On how to pronounce it correctly. ¿Será que eso nos pasa, Selma? Por sí, ejemplo, veo esta y no me acuerdo cómo se pronuncia. Like this. But uh, I know huh? that you say acknowledge. Ah, okay. But, okay, but let's look for any word in this paragraph, right? Que no conozcamos o que nos cueste pronunciar. Which one? For example, engaging. Engaging. Okay, where is I, it? Well, uh, this morning I I, I was uh, repeating and repeating again and again and then uh, okay. we trouble, we trouble, we trouble, we trouble, we trouble. <laughs> okay. You know, a very useful way on how to remember pronunciation. Bueno, es lo que yo hago. Por ejemplo, 
me voy a buscar la palabra o el verbo. En este caso es engage. Sí. Ahí no se me olvida, engage. Es más fácil recordar. Y luego cuando, ah, engaging. Solo le agrego el in, engaging. Engage. But engage. listen, sí. even though a mí me toca buscar pronunciación a veces. For example, I learned about this word que hemos estado usando en la clase. Ethical or ethical. This is the way that I learned on how to pronounce this word. Pero hay varios que se las he escuchado también que lo pronunciamos, no decimos, decimos onetical. Y está aceptable también, right? Onetical, onetical. That's es the mi caso. Porque Exacto. yo, yo escucho el audio del el traductor y dice ah, onetical. Onetical, there we go. Yeah. Pero... Eh, ¿Cómo lo tomamos? Sí, también, ese es un tipo de pronunciación. Eh, por ejemplo, hay otra, otra bien, bien común que usamos. Which one? Que la usé en la clase. I don't remember, se me escapó la idea. Pero que sí, nosotros no sabemos entonces si hacerle caso al traductor, si hacerle caso a las personas. Por ejemplo, si nos vamos, yo me he ido y me fui a revisar cuál era la pronunciación correcta. Y en videos que tenemos aquí en el Students Book, la pronuncian de ambas formas. You know? Unethical and unethical. Yes, ambas. Mm -hmm. Y es contenido que sé que son personas hablantes o nativas del inglés. right? Entonces, cuando tengamos esa duda, lo primero asegurémonos, el traductor es muy buena forma, ok, aunque a veces igual si tenemos una palabra aislada la va a pronunciar tal vez de una forma y créeme cuando ya está en contexto en alguna oración puede ser que cambie igual su pronunciación en el contexto, right porque a sí. veces hace el linking sound los puede unir con el sonido previo de la palabra con la que finalizó, la que tenía antes y puede cambiar un poco la pronunciación but don't worry This really happens. Sí. Esto pasa, pasa, you know? Sí, sí, pero quiero pedirle un, un favor, así como de aquí al cielo y más allá. Yes. Eh, necesito que usted nos, nos digo, porque a Doris también le pasa. Yes. Eh, que pronunciamos mal una palabra uh -huh. y tal vez necesitamos el apoyo suyo para corregir esa pronunciación. Okay. Es repetir repetir hasta que nosotros, eh, en mi caso, hasta que yo lo diga bien. There we go. Porque en un momento no sé si eh, lo está, yo sé que usted lo escucha, pero no sé si está bien pronunciado. Okay. Entonces, usted okay. se ha fijado que nos quedamos con una duda esperando. Ajá, una corrección. Usted nos corrige. Mm. Exacto. But you know, in your case, tell me your pronunciation is good. Muy bonita pronunciación, se llama. Yes, I know. Hay algunas palabras, you know, que tal vez hayan dudas de pronunciar. But don't worry, okay? Yes, I'm going to be doing that. You know, sometimes, um, that's why I really like to take this time. Me gusta tomar personal ese tiempo con cada uno, porque no todos reciben la corrección de la misma manera, okay? Not everybody. And let me do this. Just give me a second. Sí. Ok, ya. Yeah. Yanari está en la clase. Vamos sí, a ayudarle a estar. Yo, ¿Qué me hace? I don't know. Vamos a. Chat. Yanari, ¿estás todavía ahí, Yanari? Bueno, si no, no vamos a no ayudarle sé. a salir de la sala. ¿eh? Don't worry, Yanari. La vamos a sacar de la sala. Don't worry. La informamos para que no digamos que la sacamos solo por sacar. Vale, ahí está. Let me stop this. Bien, eh, no se preocupe, eh, estamos para apoyarla. De mi parte igual tomo eh, todas las recomendaciones y vamos a hacer eso. Voy a hacer la corrección personal con usted, ya me dio permiso, lo vamos a hacer, ¿ok? Sí, y con el, al terminar. Eh, eh, yes. Pues... Uh, 
con el midterm, sí, cuando llegué al midterm, uh -huh. sí le voy a pedir ayuda porque hay una parte donde hay un error. Ah, ¿qué será? ¿Qué parte? Sí, en la primera parte. Entonces, ahí sí voy a esperar que, que usted llegue a, a ese Al lado home, a ese, okay. a, uh -huh, y, y esperar la corrección. Vaya, el lunes si nos vamos a tomar ese tiempo para que ya todos eh, podamos decir concluimos unidad 2 y nos movemos, ¿ok? Ok. Vaya, gracias Telma por sus comentarios también y estamos para apoyarlo. Okay? Muy amable, muchas gracias. Have a great night, see you on Monday. Okay, good rest.